Welcome, thousand PS fans, to the Wheels and Waves Festival 2015 with BMW, with Ola Stenegard. Perfect. Uh, what are you doing uh, at BMW? Um, yeah, what am I doing? I'm, I'm, I'm actually head of vehicle design, but um, last couple of years I've been doing a lot of other stuff too. But, but this is this is my my real job. So I'm basically I'm heading the BMW, uh, the team that designs the actual motorcycles. And my boss is Edgar Heinrich. You probably met Eddie here. So he takes care of the whole design studio. But my expertise is the the team that does the actual motorcycles. We recently met at uh, Concorso d'Eleganza, yeah. the um, uh, Lake Como. Totally different uh, thing, like, like the opposite of here. The other side of the spectrum, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how do you like it here? I mean, I'm overwhelmed. How do you feel? I love it. It's the third year that we're here. And um, it's been growing every year. I mean, first year we were here, we were the only OEM here. And we just had a little small thing. We brought the Concept 90, and it was really small. And last year it like doubled or maybe tripled, and this year it doubled or tripled again. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. yeah. But the coolest thing, and I, I really want to emphasize this, is that Vincent and the Southsiders, even though it has grown so much, they really managed to maintain the spirit of Wheels and Waves, and it's it's really awesome. I mean, you look look like a guy who's <laughs> right here, you know, in the right place. Um, one of my favorite bikes of the last 10 years was the R90. So oh, really? I think, <laughs> what did you do before the R90? What did you design before the R90? Um, when I was still working, like I've been heading the team for the last five, six years. So, uh, but the last bike that I actually worked on myself as a, as a principal designer uh, was the S1000RR because that's like my other big passion it's, yeah. it's super sport bikes and, and racetrack it's kind of a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing I guess <laughs> same with me so yeah. now we've seen another R90 custom bike a scrambler yeah. uh, so how will we go, gonna see that in, in fall maybe in, in Milano or somewhere I don't know, should we? You like it? I don't know, yeah. <laughs> I like every, yeah, no. every Boxer uh, custom bike. Yeah, I, the I Boxer mean, for me is the best engine for this. There's so many cool custom bikes here. What people are doing in their creativity is amazing. When it comes to this bike, uh, this is actually a bike that we could turn around quite quick for production if we get the right response. And that's what we're looking for. I mean, on one hand, we really want to pay. It's almost like a payback to Vincent and, and the Southsiders and Wheels and Waves. Like we want to bring something special back to them for, for this past three years. And on the other hand, it's of course, you know, we want to gauge to see what people think about this bike, you know, and, and if we get the right response, why not? You know, this is something we can turn around really quick. And I hope so. I, I, I rode it first time yesterday and it's, it kicks ass. It's really fun. <laughs> It's really fun. So when you look around, what um, what are you taking with me? Have you seen anything where you say, "Hey, that, that's that's a good idea. That's we're gonna try that." There's so much stuff going on here, so much creativity, especially what you see what they're doing with the boxers, but also yeah. with other bikes, and a lot of young young guys yeah. here that are really super creative just do doing whatever they want to do to per personalize their bikes and this is super inspiring that means there's a lot of people that you know are still getting into bikes interested in bikes and going to continue uh, to keep motorcycling alive and I think that's the most inspiring thing and what surprised me there are a lot of girls riding yeah, that's fantastic. And more and more and more. Every year you see more girls. And one year they come on the back of a bike, next year they're riding themselves. And they're 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 good riders, like really good riders. Hands down. So it's it's really cool. So as I said before, R90, my favorite bike at the moment. <laughs> so will we see more of that stuff? Will you have kind of a heritage line maybe in the future? 
I I think it would make sense, yeah. And and this is also why we want to see what people think about this bike, of course, because on the 90 you could still do so much. I mean, here this is the same chassis, same tank. It's it's basically the same bike. We just jacked it up, different front wheel, different rear wheel, but you know, it's it's the same chassis. You you can do so much, just like they did in the old days. You know, you had a basic bike. You can you can tune it a little bit in the off road. You can tune it a little bit in this direction or that direction, and and this is what we're looking at. And uh, now we're curious what people think about this one. And I hope we get they like it, and we can turn it around quick. <laughs> Five or uh, seven years ago, I think, uh, there was no R90, so I bought an R1200C, the cruiser. Right. Uh, and it looks uh, like, a, like a military bike now. Uh, <laughs> but not, not, you know, uh, I underestimated how, how costly it is. So maybe you could take care of it in the future. <laughs> Keep the bike simple. I think that's the, that's the key. Yeah. And I think that's also why the 90s it's such a good bike. It's just a simple, pure bike. Easy to work on, easy to change parts, easy to make it your own. And also here, when I walk around and see, I haven't seen, I haven't honestly, apart from our bike that we brought here with like our bikes that we brought with the press fleet for, for, for us and for guys to test, I haven't seen a stock bike out there, a stock 90. They're all modified and it's, it's, it trips my trigger more than anything. It's amazing. That was your best work <laughs> the last years. No. It's a big team behind it too, yeah. or a big team. It's it's a team behind it, and uh, especially the project leader Roland Stocker. He has he's been amazing throughout the whole project, and these are the guys that make this 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 bike work. So yeah, <laughs> we are looking forward to the future. Thank yeah, you very much. Thank you very much. And have fun. It's raining now, but it's gonna stop. It'll, it'll stop. Yeah. We go back. Do we go back riding? Okay. It's, it's all good. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank you. much.